well, is this a good night or what? I am so honored to be here to talk to each and every one of you tonight. It's, it's really been an incredible journey the past couple of weeks in Baltimore County. I want to take a moment to thank each of the candidates and their supporters. What an exercise in democracy. Yeah. And, I, and I, cannot, I cannot let this opportunity go without saying to the roughly 75% who said, I'll catch you in the general. Don't ever let that happen again. Every single vote counts, and we never need to be reminded of that. So please vote. Please vote come November. And I can tell you that what I think happened in this election and what's going to really happen in November is that people looked into the eyes of our next speaker. They, they got to know him. They got to know his family. They got to sense his vision, and they said, I believe in this young guy. So it is a, an incredible pleasure to introduce you to the next county executive of all of the Absolutely no doubt. We have won this primary. I am so honored to be and accept the Democratic nomination and be the Democratic nominee for Baltimore County Executive. I want to take a moment to reiterate my gratitude to the dedicated folks at the Baltimore County Board of Elections who have worked around the clock, uh, including today on Saturday, completing the most exhaustive uh, recount in our county's history to ensure that every vote was counted and that every voice was heard. The county executive is spot on. This was a very close race and a an critically important reminder that every vote truly does matter. I may have a just a few more gray hairs than I did a week ago, <laughs> but it really wasn't that bad. I leaned into my faith, an incredible network of family, friends, and supporters, most especially my wife, Marissa, who has been a constant source of inspiration and encouragement yeah, throughout this campaign. I love her and our daughter, Daria more than I can ever express. I'd like to again also commend Senator Brochin and Councilwoman Allman for running incredibly strong campaigns. Their strong campaigns in turn made our stronger too. And their work in this election affirms our faith in our democracy and their efforts will continue to inspire all of us in the days ahead. From the very beginning, this has been a people-centered and a people-powered campaign. It's been about building a movement for what's possible here in Baltimore County. I'm grateful for each and every one of you, the supporters and the volunteers who share our vision for what's possible. This would not have been possible without you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But tonight, we're just getting started. We're going to soak in tonight, but tomorrow is back to work. Back to talking about the same things we've been focused on since this campaign began. Better schools, 21st century jobs, and an open, accessible, transparent government that works for every single person in every single community across our great county. Yeah. going to build a diverse coalition that works together to build a positive, inclusive vision for what's possible. We're going to work harder than any campaign has ever worked, 
and we're going to win in November. I am so humbled by the support we've seen. And with this victory now official, I'm excited to get back to work, back to connecting with even more Baltimore County residents. We will build a better Baltimore County, and we will build it together. Yes, sir!